All right, we're checking out the Grave of the Sage. Oh, a slice of pie. That sounds delicious. Ooh. Very nice. Whoa, what the hell? It's a ghost. Hey, what's up with you, man? You look a bit pale, you do. Huh? You're giving this to me? You received a page describing the spirit medium spell. Well, fancy that. It's a page from the wizard's companion, that is. What's this little squirt doing with it? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Do you think you can't speak? No, nah, it's not that, man. If I'm not much very mistaken, yep, must be. Huh? Did you figure something out, Mr. Drippy? That spell he just gave you. Give it a try, Ollie boy. You'll soon see. Well, all right, then. Thank goodness it worked. Jeepers creepers, you can talk. Of course I can talk, silly. You cast spirit medium on me, didn't you? So that's what it does, huh? You mean to tell me you cast a spell without knowing what it did? What kind of a wizard are you? For future reference, spirit medium lets you speak to spooky spirits of the dead, like me. So I was right. You're a flippin' ghost, ain't it? A g, -g, g ghost Jeepers, you mean to tell me that ghosts really exist? Of course they do. Wizards see them all the time. I was a wizard too once, you know. But thanks to that idiot, the Dark Jinn, there aren't too many wizards left. So when I saw you, I thought I'd better hand that page over. You're the first wizard I've seen, and I don't know how long. Jeepers, can I really keep it? Of course. It's the least I could do to say thanks for looking after my book. Your book? Nah, you got your wires crossed, Sunshine. That's our book, it is. Who are you, anyway? Me, I'm Horace. Although you probably don't know me better as the Sage of Ages. Hang on a sec. You want us to believe a little midget like you is the Sage of Flipping Ages? Who are you calling a midget, Pipsqueak? I'm a fairy, ain't it? I'm supposed to be this size, you cheeky little... <laughs> you're called Ollie, are you? And you're on a journey in our world? Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm, maybe I'll go on a little journey myself. I haven't taken a look around our world for a long time. Right, I'm heading south to the desert. Hopefully we'll meet again at the town down there. See you soon. Okay. And Drippy just face planted. Cool, I got a new spell. I can talk to ghosts. I don't know why he's not more terrified that he just talked to a ghost, but, uh, already then. Okay, so now I guess we'll head to the other part of town we haven't been to yet. This was obviously, you know, a different optional area, but that's cool that I got that spell. Okay, so there's the owl store. Whatever the hell you want to call it. The shoe teak. <laughs> Is that where I came from over there? Anything over here? Aha! An ice cream. And can I get... Oh, I can't get down here, but now I at least know it exists. I can maybe get around from the other side. Oh, there's a plant in the way. I'm gonna move this stupid plant. I want to get the treasure. Damn, I can't get it yet. No, there's no way to jump down. All right, what about the ice cream? What does that do? Aha! It's gonna increase evasion. Cool. I can't get in these buildings now. I don't know how to get that chest yet. It must be something later. Alright, and that's where I came from. What's this way? Oh, wait, let's go up the staircase first. Oh, there's an upper portion of town right here. I know I need to visit Switch Solutions. I'm exploring. How dare you? How pushy. 
It seems to be sealed by some very potent magic. It's a purple chest. So there's going to be lots of different colored chests. So there's a fun day for mouse thwacking. The only question is what to thwack them with. Huh. All right, you go ahead and <laughs> you thwack some mice, buddy. That's really what you want to do. It's your prerogative. It's my prerogative. Ooh, weapons. Look at this guy! He's got a fucking bird for a face! This one I cut up and sweet. A Sunday. I'm gonna find a lot of stuff for my uh, my familiar. His magical defense. Cool. Nothing all over here now. Let's see if I can buy anything from this guy. Commiserations, friend, but I'm not allowed to sell weapons or armor to travelers. You're gonna need a special permission from the king. Okay, so I have to talk to the king first. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, so there's a crack open, but I can't go through it. It's your prerogative. What the hell is this? The sewers. Looks like there may be a dungeon here at some point, but I can't get in yet. Oh, you can do first person mode if you press in right thumbstick. Okay. Alright, nothing to do here. Oh, I missed this. Another old loaf of white bread. Damn, we have a lot of healing items. Alright, here's the place. Aha! Ten guilders. Anything over here? Aw, oh, can't go that way. Whoa, what the hell? Shit. Oh, I can't go to any of those. So I don't know what the point of this is. It's pretty cool though that you can still jump on them. All right, let's see if I can get this card that he was talking about. Dun, 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 dun. Any items in here? Come on, I want to steal from this guy. There's nothing I can steal. Damn it. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. And where those who are feeling helpful agree to perform tasks on their behalf. What sort of task do you mean, sir? You honestly don't know? Dear me, you really are new to this, aren't you? Well, I shall swallow my amazement and explain. Folks who are in need of assistance flock to me, hoping to find someone willing to take on their errands for them. On your travels, you're bound to run into people who are looking for help, and you'll have to decide whether or not to soothe their fluttering hearts by taking on the tasks they set you. Have a look at the errand board over there. On it, you'll see a list of the tasks you can take on. At Swift Solutions, you can also agree to undertake missions to eliminate specific monsters. These are known as bounty hunts. If you want to find more, access the main menu and take a look in your journal. My journal, huh? Okay, I think I got it. Your journal will also show you how many merit stamp cards you've got. Oh, the gatekeeper mentioned something about those. I, uh, I don't think I have one, though. Ho-ho, you don't, do you? Well, that is swiftly, swiftly remedied. Keep this merit stamp card safe. You'll need it to collect stamps when you complete tasks. Once you've filled up a few cards, you can exchange them for merit awards, which are sure to be useful in your travels. Simply visit the nearest branch of Swift Solutions, hand over your completed cards, and the awards will be yours. Alright, thank you very much, sir. Well, helping people out is all part of saving the world, Ollie boy. But before we can make a start on all the do-goodery, we need to get you dressed for the job. Now, the hoot nanny said your outfit would be ready tomorrow, so I reckon our best plan is to go and get a good night's sleep down at the Cat's Cradle, ain't it? The journal is now accessible from the main menu. All right, so we've got to go to the inn, the cat's cradle, which we already know where that is. All right, so let's head over there. <laughs>